Letting me use my controller. It's not good. Go to options. Screen resolution. This is so low, that's weird. My settings. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um controls. Oh. Let's see if we can map our controller. Let's see. Move forward. Oh, wait. Wait, now it's working? Hold on, hold on. It it was working for a second. Okay. We can try this. Maybe. We're not going to try that. We're going to create a room. <laughs> We're going to make seven bots. And we're going to do 15 kills. And 10 minutes is fine, I guess. Um, start game? Okay. This game is very, very interesting. <clears throat> it... <laughs> it requires you to... You, you can't see anything except your gun until people start shooting and then it uses like echolocation to establish the map. It's very interesting. It's it's such an interesting concept. I love it actually. Um, and yeah, I mean there's not much else to say. It's, it's a very interesting game though. Select spawn bonus. Interesting. Um, uh, rocket. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Wait, what? what's going on? What's, what's happening there? That's weird. Oh, man. Oh, this is so cool, though. <laughs> Flat gun ammo. No! What happened there? Burst rifle. Uh, I wish there were controller support because my my setup just does not like keyboard and mouse at all. I'm hoping that I'm just missing it though. That was not great. That was a that was a spawn kill, and I'm not a fan of that. I guess it's not really a spawn kill. It's more like I spawned and I got a kill. <laughs> ah! I'm a little... Cu I'm curious how much this game will cost when it comes out. Oh, I should say, sorry, I got this key from uh, the developer. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Gatai Games. Uh, thank you very much for the key. Um, but I am interested to know how much it will cost. I feel like this is... So far, it feels very... Proof of concept-ish. But... I have only played for two minutes or so. Oh, it's not really a valid argument, I guess. <laughs> um, I I will say that based on what I've seen in the menus, based on what I've seen so far with the game, I don't know if I would charge more than ten dollars for it. Although it's it's such a it's such a unique game. The uniqueness really throws it overboard, I think. I think that's something that could absolutely have an upcharge. Just it's how unique it is. And if it connects with people, people will be like, oh, I want to play that now. I want to play it. It's. It's really cool. Oh, round over. 
Okay. Well, it's cool that you can turn not not a bot. <laughs> That's funny. I think someone may have joined the game, actually. Am I wrong? Because one of those names did not look... Yeah, Evo Ellis. That looks like a person. Not sure, though. I like that you can get progress. You can progress, like, level up uh, when you're playing alone, it seems, at least. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I always appreciate that. I welcome that for sure. I'm very interested to see what the unlocks are like. If there is a significant progression system or if it's a more superficial one with the, just the levels. Um, a superficial one wouldn't be a bad thing. I hope it doesn't sound like that, but a significant progression system is always welcomed. Like a good system of unlocks and updates to your character. Oh, that sucks. Ooh! Ooh, ah! <laughs> oh no! I died. <laughs> I have died a lot, but that's not that's not a knock on the game. That's just how it is when I play things. I feel like the let's see. I feel like the base movement speed is a little slow, like not too much, just just a little slow. Uh, there is a sprint. Which is very nice, thank you. What is decoy ammo? Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. I like that. The, the potential for that is great. It's like a thing you can send in before you start shooting. But then... I feel like I couldn't really use another gun. So... Is there a way to switch guns, maybe? My... Let's see. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, whoops. Now you can see my mouse cursor. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. I, I'm an old man, and I have have it set up where if I press control, my, my mouse cursor shows up on the screen, because I lose the mouse cursor from time to time. So it's kind of a, an amber alert for, for my, my mouse. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's what happened there. I think, I think when I press control, it stayed on the screen. Uh, I, I think so. I don't know. This is like a more violent Beyond Eyes. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've actually never played Beyond Eyes, but I really want to. It's a <clears throat> it's another game with blindness as a concept for it. And I think the world you can only see like a couple inches in front of you or something. It's it's interesting. And there's there's actually another shooter. Um that that game is not a shooter. That game is like a dramatic tale about the struggle of blindness, I believe. Again, I haven't played it, but that's what I've heard. Uh, there is, though, there is another shooter I'm aware of that uses echolocation as a gameplay element, but it, it's not PvP, it's PvE. I wish I could remember the name of it. I, I think Northern Lion did a, a Let's Look At on it a long time ago. It was probably 20, 2013... Maybe 2014. Oh, okay, so... No, I'm not entirely sure how to change your weapon. I think it was the scroll wheel, though. Jeez. 
Oh man, this. Oh! Okay. I'll. I'll have to try and figure out the. Okay, it is the scroll wheel. Okay, cool, cool. So never mind about that whole like. Oh, it's. It's a great concept that you can throw a thing in front of you, but you can't really utilize it. <laughs> Cause guess what? You can. Cause you do have a gun. That's not the the gun that you get at the beginning. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in marketing. I'm not in price management. I'm not the developer. But I feel like charging any more than $10 for this would be kind of hard to argue. Or hard to sell, I guess. Uh, we're going back to that, though. And then we're going back to the idea that, well, it's so unique that maybe that would transcend a $10 price point. But I I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced yet. But we'll... I mean, we'll see. What I'm worried about is... Actually, it's not as much of a worry with this game. There was a game that I played called Random Access Murder, I believe. It was RAM. Um, and it was such a cool concept. It had a great art style. It takes place... As far as I know, it took place in like a Tron landscape. And you could shoot people. It was a shooter. <laughs> and... It was so cool. But it relied solely on online multiplayer. So I actually have never gotten to play it. <laughs> I bought it. I've loaded it up several times. I've tried to get games. No one plays it. And that sucks a lot because that's the only way you can play it as far as I can tell. But I don't think it has a bot mode. Whereas this game, this has bots. So that's actually... a uh, tremendous addition. I think that's a tremendous boon. Um, so I don't think there's really much in the way of an argument that could be made for if this were an online multiplayer game online only because it seems like you can play offline in a way. You can play with bots. That's what I'm trying to say. And as long as the price for entry is or cost for entry isn't terribly exorbitant I don't see why this wouldn't be a success it really it's it's a refreshing first person shooter in a, in this oversaturated landscape of shooters that look the same as one another this is just such a it's a breath of fresh air and it's something that I won't forget Probably, and I'm not. I'm not embellishing. Like I really probably won't forget this. <clears throat> like in five years, I'm gonna look back and I'll think, oh, I think I played that Call of Duty. I think I played that Call of Duty. And then someone will bring up Muffled Warfare, and I'll be like, oh, oh, absolutely, yeah, that game is cool, dude. That's exactly how this is gonna go. So I hope it I hope it is a success. And it looks like when you level up you do unlock something. So I'm gonna check out the character creator and see what all you can unlock. Um also I'm kinda wondering if this is just gonna keep going to rounds. <laughs> it's gonna keep going to new rounds every time the round ends. Which makes sense because it's it's on a map rotation, isn't it? Okay. Here's what we will do. We will leave. One minor thing is I noticed that when I killed myself with the rocket launcher. Oh my gosh! Oh! Hey! What's poppin', Jimbo? Muffled Warfare? Yes, hello, GameCuber YT. And thank you for the follow. The kitties appreciate the. T t the t uh, <laughs> that was weird. Uh, the kitties appreciate the tummy tickles. And I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is Muffled Warfare. 
a game where blindness, eh, it's not really blindness, echolocation is the main uh, gameplay element. Hmm. So, how many levels are there? Let's see, 16 there. 18. I'm guessing it's going up by levels. No? It's not going up by levels. It's not sorted by level. Oh, it's sorted by by alphabetizing. It's alphabetical, I should say. Hmm. Okay, so we have level 18, I think, is the highest we've seen. Hmm, 19? Okay. Hmm. I don't know. So, uh, sorry, the... When you kill yourself with a rocket, it just says, I stifled I, or like, player stifled player. I feel like that could be... Um, there are other games out there that utilize uh, a text, sy text system like that, where it says, like in Call of Duty, it says mistakes were made. In Halo, I think it's like the Guardians have taken you away. I think that would be a nice touch. Um, well, I have to leave, but I'm glad I popped in for a bit. Well, thank you for stopping in. I'm glad you could see my stream and see the kitty. And the kitty uh the kitty greeted you. I'm very very happy to see that. Let's see. I think actually